All right, everybody, we're going to do a quick video to discuss a little bit more about what's going on with the Patreon, as well as kind of give stock about changes and suggestions going forward. The last time we actually had a serious sit down about it, I think we were at like 2,000 subs, so it was quite a long time ago. But, as you always mention in the videos, there's of course a link to the Patreon down below. And it comes with several uh, tiers and rewards and goals for everyone to go for. So, the dollar tier has always been kind of the basic level, gets you the thank you on the credits page that shows up in every video, and it's now been getting access or giving early access to the videos that will go up. The $5 is our VIP, that gets you ad-free access to when we put up design talks and some of the special design casts, gets you a little bit of a fancier title as well on our Discord channel. And then, as we moved up, some of the goals or some of the rewards, I don't know if they're still, I guess, viable, especially since things have opened up so much since I first started things. In fact, I posted that goal in 2018, so it's been a very long time. Or, I'm sorry, the reward. That was the $12. That allows somebody to be a guest on one of our Critical Thought videos. And nobody has really taken me up on that offer. I think maybe Josh did one time ago. And I don't know if that reward is still, I guess, interesting for people. Uh, one of our pledgers has given or is giving up his uh, access because he can't think of a topic. So if anyone wants to do that, definitely let me know. And then as we go up, stuff like early information on the Perceptive Podcast, that's kind of going away since really nobody's ever like asked for it. And the fact that I now kind of announce things on the Discord channel. And then the premium VIP tier and the patrons podcast, similar points there. So, I want to go through everything with everybody with regards to, I guess, where do you want to see the Patreon to go? In terms of the actual goals, they remain pretty consistent. Like I say, if I can earn, like, if I earn at least $400 a month, that takes care of a lot of the basic expenses. It doesn't make things perfect, but it will go a long way towards it. And even stuff, and this has always been my problem, is that when I put out these goals, there's a good chance I fulfill the goal at some way, shape, or form. For instance, I already have, or I've been doing longer dissecting designs, so that was the $500 goal. And then for the $600 goal with the Perceptive Roundtable, well, we've been doing that for free for the last few months now. So, that's always been my problem, because the channel has such a very specific niche in terms of our topics as well as our clientele that it's kind of hard to come up with interesting rewards and goals for everyone. So, I'm going to pose it to everyone watching. What do you think of the rewards right now? Are there any that you think just are no longer really interesting or viable? And can you suggest things going forward? And the same goes for the goals. Again, stuff like minimal expenses and things that I need, I can't exactly lower or raise those. But are there any other like interesting or, I guess, unique things we could do that we could set monthly goals for? Maybe something even below the $400 one, just as a kind of way to give an incentive to people to donate, and then one for after that. And as always, if you have any suggestions for anything new, let me know here in the comments below or on the Discord channel. But other than that, I'm still waiting on announcements regarding book number three. They're taking their long or they're taking their sweet time on it. But that will be an upcoming reward for the $25 and up tier. And when the book gets locked in, of course, I will be making a video to let everybody know. But that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know in the comments or on the Discord channel. Have a great rest of your night, and I will talk to you live.